a video for for Emma and James. Can you help me? Yeah. First, you have to take your media and put it into your timeline. Go to My Media, click on the media you want, and drag it down to where it says Video 1. Okay. I got it all the things I want. Now how do I edit it? Well first you got to delete the you gotta clip and delete the video that you don't need. Okay. Okay, since you wanna cut here, zoom in to about halfway. Now push play and stop it where you want to. Okay, so now what you do is you press that little X button. Cut it. And then you click on the media that you don't want. You push backspace. And it's gone. Now you get to do that with all the other video clips. Click where you want to cut it, push the scissors button, click on the media, and push the delete button. You can also drag the sides to make it shorter or longer. Hi Ann, I can't get it stuff when I want it to. There's an easier way of making it stop where you want to. An easier way than pushing the play button is to place the space bar to start and stop things. Okay. Can you teach me how to my go make my video go fast? Yeah. If you want to speed it up, you click on the video twice that you want to speed up. Okay. Here is where you can rotate, flip, and make your screen and zoom in on your video or change where your video is on your screen. Here is your volume. This one is animation, color, green screening, and here is how, where you can make your video fast and slower. The range is if you only want to speed up a certain part of your video. We're going to speed up, you're going to speed up the whole entire clip, so you want to do value which means you want it to go faster. Now you push save changes. For this you click double click on your video. In transform you can rotate, flip, and make your video anywhere on your screen. In volume you can change the audio level. You can also mute it and you can fade in and out. In animation, you can animate stuff. In color, you can change what your video looks like. In green screening, you can click on this button and click on your green screen and give it a background or you can type in your green screen. For speed, these two buttons make it so you only v speed up a part of your video clip. We're going to speed up our, the whole entire video clip, so we just make it faster or slower. And you push save changes. Hi Ian, can you remind me how to make words? Yeah! To put in words, you have to make sure that you have a space above your video to put them in. Now you go to text and you can pick any one you want. Rexy, which one do you want? Okay, so then you grab it and pull it to the to the clip you want on top of it. Now you take this edge and you pull it to the end of that clip. Too far. 
Now you double click on your words and you have your word blurbs. You click on your primary text and you type in what you want to type. Now if you don't want a secondary text, you click on the secondary text and you push space. Now you go to save changes and you have your words. For the words, you push text and you can pick anyone you want. I'm using this one. So then you take it and you put it where on top of the video that you want to show on and you double click it. Then you type whatever you want to type into the word blurbs. I'm gonna write mug cakes. If you don't want anything to be in it, you just click on the word blurb and put a space in it. Uh, but I'm going to write two things, so the next one I'm going to put in is rec by Rex. To change the color, you click on this and you pick whatever color you want. If you want to change the size, you have to click manual and then you can change the sizes. Transform, you can rotate and flip. Same thing for the transform in the other area. And then you push save changes. I need a time credit and credits because Ms. No told me to. Okay. For your title page and credits, you go to the front of your video. And press text. Then you pick which opening one you want. Then you pull it to the front. Go down. Now you pull it down and, it, and you push insert and prep, push. Then you click on it twice and you change the words. For the credits, you go to the end of your video and you press text. You should pick, the one that you should pick if you're doing credits is in static. It says end credits. You bring it to the back. Some of some videos will not need credits, but Rec, but Rexy's does. You can usually, if you don't need credits, just add an ending page. You click, double click on your credits, and you can write what you need to write here. To do end credits, you push text and you go to static. Then you should go to the word area that says end credits and you will bring it to the end of your video. Then you can lengthen it or shorten the end credits to how whatever you want whatever length you want. Then you double click it and you go to the word area and you can write your words or the people that are in your video. To change the font, you click on the bar beneath it and you can pick whatever font you want. To change the size, you go to the area that says size and you can make it bigger or smaller. You can also move it in the video area and make it skinnier, fatter, and wherever you want it on the screen. In animation, you can animate it. And you, if you go to position and you type in the correct numbers, 
you can make it a rolling credit. But that's advanced and you probably won't even need credits yet. So then you'll just push save changes. And you're done with your end credits. If you want to do a title page, you can go to motion and you can pick whichever one you want. You can also do static. Then you can make it shorter or longer, wherever you want. You double click on it and you write in the word blurps where you want. I'm going to write how to edit on Wii video. But I'm going to space it out into the three different word blurps. If you want to change the font, you do the same thing. You go to the bar and you click whatever font you want. If Remember, if you want to change the size, you have to click manual and change it. If you don't click manual and you keep it on auto, you won't have you won't be able to change the size. Then you push save changes. Can I add music to it also? Yeah. Now for music, you click audio and you pick what song you want. Okay, have you picked your music? Yeah! Okay, this one. now you drag it to the area where it says audio. Go to the beginning of your video. You Once you first go to the beginning of your video. Bring your music. Now, if your music isn't long enough, you'll have to add another music. To add audio, you push audio and you pick which music you want. I'm going to pick this one. Then you bring it down to the audio one area and you bring it to the front of your video. Then you go to the back of your video and you clip the music so it doesn't keep going on even if your video is finished. Then you change the and then you can change the audio can bring it down so it's quieter to make a new white dot to change a different area you just click on the blue line and you bring it down the volume is for if you're talking and you don't want the music to be so loud as when it is in the beginning and in the end all done almost now that you're all done making it, now you have to push the blue finish button in the top right corner to, to produce it. And then you send it to Miss Noel so that it can be put in MM News. Now it's your turn to make a video and send it to Miss Noel to be put in MM News. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Bye!